just woke up to the best sound. Hi, babies. I love, I'm pretty sure this is the male right here because when I went out this morning, he was taller. And I've done some research and it says the males are usually taller. There's the female. But they've been having breakfast. They were down the hill by the neighbor's fence there. And I heard them and the second I went outside, they like came right to me. So cute. It's been like almost a month since I've seen them. Well, not quite a month. It seems like that. Oh my goodness. And they're all wet because it's been raining so much. Like, so much. Good morning. It's Thursday, the 15th of August. I mean, August, I guess it's August. It seems like August, because I've been gone so long. Um, it's Thursday, September 15th. Oh, hi, babies. Good morning, officially. Um, that was the best, best wake-up call, even though I probably would have loved to have slept for a little bit longer. Um, but it was good to get myself up out of bed because last night I did not sleep very well at all. Uh, it was the third night of Brad being gone. Tomorrow he comes back. So I only have one more night tonight to get through. Um, but I wanted to get a lot better sleep because it's only nine, well, I shouldn't say it's only, it's nine o'clock. I only woke up at 8.30. And I know that doesn't sound like super late but for me, it does. Like I'm usually waking up at 7, 7.30. And I'm a lot more tired because I didn't fall asleep till after, it was like after quarter of two in the morning. I have a feeling today is going to call for a nap. Sorry, I'm holding my spoon because I'm making coffee. Obviously, you guys heard it. And I'm making more of the, um, Oh my gosh, the pe pecan pie flavor. Did you guys just hear my stomach grow? Uh, what was I saying? Sorry, spoon. My plan is, in order for me to share the haul with you, my, why do I keep calling it a haul? Can you tell I haven't had sleep or I need sleep? Um, a walkthrough of the house. And I'm gonna share this stuff with you, but I wanna do it tonight when the lighting's sort of pretty because I wanna do like candles and I wanna do all my stuff that lights up. So that's the plan. Coffee and let's get this day started. And then tonight we'll come the magic of fall. <laughs> the coziness of fall. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, the coziness of fall. You know, what's crazy is like, even though you buy new stuff, because I bought these frames in Tennessee, aren't they really pretty? They were at TJ Maxx. I know, random of all places, but like, this stuff would have been like, gone really fast at our TJ Maxx or Mar Home Goods because of living in Florida, you know? At least, in my opinion, I think it would have been gone. But anyways, I want to switch out two of my frames to these. I'm just finishing up, figuring out what I want to do in here. I have some stuff that I'm just not loving as far as the decor, even throughout the house too. I know that we've been here for a year and you would think that like, you would have figured a lot of things out now, but like, it's just stuff that I wish we could change. You know, I wish money wasn't the root of everything. <laughs> you know, it's not everything, but like, I wish that money wasn't so hard to come by. That's not really what I wanted to say either. I wish things wouldn't cost so much, you know? Especially when you're going through this kind of journey that we're going through on the infertility journey, journey to baby. 
um, finding out that IVF is an option. <sighs> yeah, I know like some of y'all who watch us, you guys may know some people who don't even get that opportunity to do IVF or IUIs or even adoption. Like I'm so grateful for the fact that we even get a chance to try, um, which that sort of reminds me. I really wanted to sit down sometime when I got home from our trip to do like my thoughts on infertility at this point and just sort of share my feelings. So I'm going to do that at some point. I just don't know when it'll be on the horizon, let's just say, because I just have like a lot of things going on in my mind. And there's some people that I follow that I still love and appreciate um, their journey. And lately, it's been a little bit challenging for me to watch their channels for numerous reasons um, because things trigger me, just being honest, you know? Going through infertility is something that I would never wish on anyone, you know? and not getting into many details in this vlog because like I said I want to do a separate vlog on that but it's just hard like there's certain things that trigger me like and I've talked about it before and while I feel like I've grown in that aspect it's still hard oh and I was about to I opened them up <laughs> oh my gosh they smell so good I wish I would have gotten another one um, this is the Appalachian Apothecary. It's the scent Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. I got them on like the second last day we were there. I'm gonna put them in my new um, wax melt burner that I got at the same place. Um, the notes are hints of butter, cinnamon, spice, and sugar. No, I did not say that right. Hints of butter, cinnamon, spice, sugar, and vanilla. I feel like my house is going to smell like a bakery. Hi guys. Um, it's not that much later than when I picked up the camera last, but, um, it's getting really dark out, hence why I have all the lights on. Well, not all the lights, but the lights up front because I am just, um, making sure I like how everything looks at this point and it's, it's starting to thunder. Um, yeah. I am about to get ready for the day, even though it's uh, 4.30. Um, I want to shower, do my hair and makeup before I film the fall decoration store of the house. So I'm gonna get ready, do that, and then in probably like an hour or so, I could probably do it because the lighting's gonna be darker because we're getting a storm. So that's the plan. And then, I think, because I've been thinking about it all day, I think I'm also going to sit down and try to film that IVF, what I'm feeling, what I'm going through right now, just because of all the stuff that I sort of mentioned earlier that I just had, well, I've had so much stuff on my mind. So I think that's the plan. But first, I'm gonna go get a shower so I can share all this fall stuff with you. Finally, after the vlog, after this vlog. Y'all, it is 11.30 at night. Oh my gosh, I don't know where the time went. All I filmed was the decor tour for fall. I did not sit down and do the infertility vlog that I wanted to sort of share my thoughts and feelings right now. I sat down after getting a shower and after I started to get dressed, I just like took a break for a minute, got on my phone and that was probably the worst thing for you to do, for me to do. I was trying to find a few of the infertility accounts that I follow and 
look up some of the quotes that they have shared in the past on their um, Instagram feed. And it was like a rabbit hole. I just kept searching and looking and looking and reading and reading and reading. And then I just got caught up in Instagram. I really get frustrated that that happens. I don't let it happen too often because I try to limit my time on social media because it can take you down a rabbit hole. But I think because of my mind just working in the way that it's been working the last like couple months and everything with Brad and I trying to start our journey back up since it's sort of been on pause and I just have so many thoughts and feelings and emotions and all the things running through my mind right now and I got caught up. I got caught up in social media. And it's now 11.30 at night and I just wrapped up the tour of our decor. And I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I'm so excited. Like I literally was so giddy talking about just how grateful we are to be in this house and despite all the stuff that we've gone through, if you guys have been with us from the beginning and from the beginning of us vlogging or if you've been through the beginning of us building this house, you know that it's been sort of a roller coaster of emotions and uh, I'm taking these off. Not that they hurt, I just, I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. Um, it's just such an amazing feeling that I had creating that vlog, which you guys will see after this and after this vlog. And it just, despite that's all, despite everything that's going on, not just Brad and I personally, not just with the house, not with just the world, you know, not with the world, just everything, I should say. Um, I'm very grateful. I don't want to start crying because I, I was good. I did not cry on this other, on the fall decor vlog, but like I am. And Brad is too, if he were, you know, here. I'm so incredibly, we're so incredibly grateful that we have this roof over our head. And it's taken us so long to get to this point. As far as buying a house. And even though we're still on our journey to become parents, I'm just so grateful to have this house. And not that the house, not that the house has not felt like a home to us both, because it has. Um, I don't know why I'm worried about it because I'm gonna wash my makeup off in a second, but not that like, Brad and I haven't created memories in this house because we've had so many great memories in this first almost one year of living here. I'm sorry. Oh, now my eyes are burning. <laughs> sorry, my eyes are burning now because like, I think I got mascara in there. Um, okay, I'm making myself laugh. Um, oh my gosh, this is like a crazy ending to this vlog. Um, oh, they are burning. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Even though mascara is like all over my face now. Um, I'm just so overcome with gratitude and joy. I don't even know what to say or how to say it. I'm just filled with so much joy and so much gratitude because sharing the house with you guys, well, parts of the house that I decorated for fall, being that it's the first time decorating for fall, I had so many emotions. 
of just gratitude. <laughs> For those of y'all who have been with us since the start of our home building journey, you know that I felt at times that this house was not a home, even though it was, you know? I just was so frustrated and so tired of all the ongoing issues that we've had. And officially decorating the house for fall and sharing it with y'all just brought over this like incredible, incredible rush of gratitude and joy that I can't even express to you how much it truly means for me to share this with you. Especially because of all the other struggles that we have going on. I'm grateful. Because I know things could be a lot worse in this life of ours. And people are struggling out there. And people are dealing with things greater than what Brad and I have dealt with. And are dealing with but we all go through our struggles throughout life and it's the little moments like this that you need to hold strong and hold tight and remember and cherish and that is appreciate just the simple simplicity of fall decorations bringing you joy going on midnight and it's just crazy that i'm still up at this time but i need to go to bed wash this makeup off and try to get some sleep and the husband comes home tomorrow so that's another thing to be thankful for like i said it's all about like the little things you know just appreciating the little things that bring you joy or the big things of course too but like this little moment of my life sharing the fall decor with you guys just filled my heart with so much gratitude and joy and thank you for letting me share with you all Thank you for letting me bring you all along with our daily lives and my love for decorating. That's it. That's all I want to say. I'll see you all tomorrow because the hubby comes home. We get to go back to the airport to pick him up and I'm so excited. So thanks again guys for watching. Sorry for the sob fest at the end, but if you've been following, you know I'm a very emotional being. That's who I am. Thanks for watching, guys.